Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video. And today, we're out here on the river today, chasing smallmouth. We have this really, really deep hole right here in front of me. I got the GoPro on. Um, I started out, I'm actually throwing a finesse jerk bait right now. Um, just a small little tiny thing. And I have a split shot just to keep it uh, lower in the water column because um, with the thermal climb, uh, the water is going to be warmer on the bottom this time of year. Uh, we have some really, really good conditions. Uh, we have a giant railroad bridge um, above me. Hopefully we can catch some fish. Stay tuned. All right, guys, I made it down to the river. The spot right here looks really, really good. It's nice and deep here in front of me. We got a big bridge and the city's down that way. Uh, my dad's over there fishing with me today, joining me. Um, first off today, I have a finesse jerk bait. This is a Rapala. Uh, floating finesse jerk bait six pound monofilament line on my spinning rod going ultra finesse today and i have a little split shot on there uh, to get the bait down a little bit lower uh, it is really really cold out here it is just freezing huh I don't have one. I forgot my cap. <laughs> What's going on? Big carp? Yeah, this is right. Didn't you see my YouTube video? Right here where I caught that like 10 pound carp. Yeah, I was standing right where you're standing. All right, this is where you want to bass fish right here. There's a current break right out here with a bunch of rocks and stuff like that. And then we have a railroad bridge that comes across right here, and it can be some pretty good bass fishing. Um, I did a video here a while back. Uh, last summer I did a video here where I caught a monster carp literally right in front of me right here. And I caught a few gold eyes and bass that day, and I caught a bunch of trout. So, But today we're going for some bass today. So we're going to whip out that jerk bait. Let's give it a few twitches here and there. And if we do hook into anything big, I really have to play it right because I really have light line, guys. I do not have the line to be fighting, you know, 16 pound carp. I'm going to try to get over here. All right, guys, making a move. I'm changing spots. Uh, I didn't have any luck at that last spot, so I'm gonna end up walking down a little bit. Um, this right here actually looks like a really good spot. Try right here. Gotta get my gloves on. Alright. Hopefully we can catch something guys. I might get skunked in this video. Like I did last video. If you guys remember last video, I got skunked big time. Huh? Do you bring gloves? Huh? Alright guys. What? The only thing that are cold right now are my ears. My ears are freaking freezing. Well, my dad's going to go wait in the car because he's cold. I'm cold as well. My ears are cold. And I got my gloves because I found my gloves in my tackle bag. So, got my gloves. Um, so, my hands are warm now. But, my... Okay. 
my ears are freezing and it is just frigid out here today. We've seen a couple carp, but no bass so far, which are really annoying. It'd be really, really nice if we could find some bass today. So the nice thing about this um, finesse jerk bait with the split shot, the nice thing about that is that the split shot will make the bait sink because uh, it is a floating jerk bait. So the bait, the split shot will make the bait sink, and then I'm just um, twitching my line just like this, twitching my rod. And every single time that split shot's gonna pull that bait up and um, it's gonna look like a dying bait fish and it's really, really effective. Especially this time of year, the problem is the water is so freaking cold that I don't even know if we're gonna catch any fish today. Actually, I think I'm gonna go test the water temp because it's gotta be freezing. All right guys, so I got my water temp thermometer here and basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it um, in the water just like that and I'm gonna let that read I'm gonna leave it there for 30 seconds what are we at let's see we're at 50 degrees not too bad honestly I honestly thought it was gonna be a lot colder than that make a few casts right here why not I think the only reason the water is that warm is because there's a bunch of factories up there and there's a warm water discharge right over there so that would probably explain the reason the water is so warm. Whoa, that was... Remember to flip your bail, kids. Well guys, unfortunately we had a great day, well fortunately we had a great day on the water, unfortunately we did not catch any fish. I uh, saw the fishing game launch their boat, which is actually pretty cool, it looks like they're doing some water samples. So overall, um, I'm only going to call it successful because it was a great day out on the water. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video, if you guys want to see more videos like this, uh, where I go out and fish the river and stuff like that, do not forget to subscribe and put out new videos every single three to four days. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always stay on the bar but I will catch you guys again on the next episode. Thanks for watching.